Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, for today's video, I decided I would do an entire Nykaa lipstick collection hits and misses. I have one of each of category lipsticks. I don't have all the shades, so I will try and include swatches of what I have. But every one of their formulas that they have launched from the beginning up till now is here with me. Thank you to my hot and sexy Sonia. She has sponsored a lot of this. Like she loads me with my lipstick collection. And I am obsessed with lipsticks per se. So I love trying out new formulas. Some of these are real hits. Like I love their formulas on some lipsticks. I wear them every single day. But some are such misses that I would never want to wear them. Like they're just lying in my cupboard. So I decided I would share everything with you all so that you all know and you all get a better insight into what you want to buy and what you don't. Now this is not sponsored by Nykaa in any way of course that I think is goes without saying. Uh, but they are a fairly, fairly new brand so I can give them that but they are launching makeup products like left right center. They are always at it. They are doing something in brushes, something in skincare and Kudos to them for that, but I think they don't get the formula right with every single product. So let's get into this video before I talk too much in the intro. Let's get started. So starting with the first lipstick that Nykaa ever launched, this was the So Matte lipstick. Now from the name of the lipstick, So Matte, you would feel that this is as matte as it gets from this brand. But this was very very glossy in fact. It's a very uh, not long lasting enough. I would say you put it on, you go and eat something, it's going to go away. So initially I did like them, the shade Praline Cookie and Orange Vice are the two shades I have. Praline Cookie is something I have used and liked in the past. I have mentioned it in one of my top 5 nude lipsticks video. It has slight shimmer flex in it but it's a good everyday lipstick, it's a brownie nude. Uh, the shade Orange Vice is not that wearable, I don't know why I bought it in the first place but it's not that wearable. Keeping that in mind, I think with the newer formulas they have, I'm going to get to that really soon. I don't think it's worth the money anymore, it is 350-360 bucks, it's not that expensive. But again, why do you want to put something money into something that's not going to last you enough? So for me right now, these are a real miss. So the next lipstick I want to talk about is the Nykaa Pout Perfect lipstick. Now these come in the crayon format. They have two in the crayon. This is the Pout Perfect and the other one is the Matte Delicious crayon. The Matte Delicious have the color just down and the Pout Perfect have it on the cap as well as down. So the Pout Perfect is more of the glossy finish. They intended to make this with a lip and cheek duo kind of finish. So I have the shade... Um, I have the shade You Make Me Blush and Brick Me Red, two of the colors are right here. Now where Brick Me Red is considered is a gorgeous red color uh, and uh, this one I don't like that much because firstly it's pink and I'm not a huge pink fan, I don't know if you can even see, I will insert lip swatches. But also it's more uh, crayon-y, like how you cray use crayon, like plastic crayons on the paper, that's how it feels. It's again not very long lasting, it will definitely leave a hint on your lips. Uh, this is something you can use as a lip, uh, as a cheek tint very easily, it will give you a nice flush of colour. For me it's not a complete hit or a complete miss because these are very affordable for crayons, these are I think if I'm not wrong somewhere in 500s and that's a good price for a crayon but again I don't prefer these I prefer their matte delicious crayon way more than the Pout Perfects. Pout Perfect comes in a lot of colors you can use it on your lip and your cheek so for me it's neither a hit nor a miss it's really your preference what do you like like do you like a complete matte finish what's on my lips right now is a matte delicious crayon so this is completely matte not gonna transfer at all this does transfer so you need to see what your preference is like when you're choosing one of the crayons. The next ones I want to talk about are the Matelicious crayons. Now I have two shades. Yeah, I have two shades here. One is Jade Rose and one is Real Deal. Both are nude colors and both of them are amazing colors. I love them so so much. This is the shade Real Deal and this is the shade Jade Rose. They're very identical to each other but Jade Rose is much much darker, it's what's on my lips right now. I have fallen in love with this colour, this is hands down the most amazing formula and lipstick I have. Now when it comes to crayons, uh, I love the Faces lip crayons as well, they are also very very amazing in formula. But the colours in the Nykaa lip crayons have a lot of variety, you can choose from a big range of selection of colours. Whereas in the Faces one you don't get that much variety especially for the brown skin girls and especially in the nude category. So I love these two nude colours. Jade Rose and Real Deal is something you should definitely invest in if you're like my skin tone. 
I love these colors for college. I try to wear them every single day. I'm just very, very sad when I have to shop in crayons. That's the only negative part of this. The price range I feel is perfect on these. I think it's around 550, 650. I'm not sure again. Uh, I love the formula on this. This is the what I'm wearing right now. So see, the transfer is so little. It will barely transfer and it will still be there on your lips. Colors are gorgeous. Everything about this lipstick is gorgeous. It's a complete and total hit from my side. Uh, so these are the Nykaa Matte to Last Liquid Lipstick. This was the first ever liquid lipstick Nykaa launched and I'm so disappointed in them. I had a complete review on my channel where I said you could give one a try. But I have realized the more that I shelf these lipsticks, the more the oil separates in them. They get really difficult to use. They do not dry completely. It takes like 30 to 40 seconds seconds almost a minute for it to completely dry on your lips and even then it's not opaque enough the color pigment is not that great so i'm really disappointed in these lipsticks i have three shades here guwa hotty uh begum and madras copy i also had it girl that, that's something my mother is using but apart from that i don't love the formula on these lipsticks uh they had amazing shade ranges and they keep expanding the shade range on this but I feel like they should really do something about the formula of this. I was anyways very disappointed in the applicator. Uh, but then later on as I used it more, the formula has kept on disappointing me. So this is a complete and total miss from my side. They have also gone ahead to increase the prices which I don't really understand. They launched with I think 550 and now it's almost 600. Uh, so that's also a big negative. Like I don't see any other brand increasing their prices. So uh, this is all about the Nykaa Matte Last. I don't really like these ones. I don't recommend them at all. The next lipsticks I'm going to talk about are the best bullet lipstick formulas in the market at the moment. Like this surpasses MAC, it surpasses Smashbox. Everything high end out there. I love the formula of the Nykaa Ultra Matte Lipsticks. Uh, these retail for around 550, 600 bucks. They have gorgeous colors i love the formula on this i cannot begin to explain how comfortable how lightweight it is and the fact that it's in a bullet lipstick nika just really did it with this formula this was the first one i got this is the shade cleopatra all these three have been given to me by my aunt uh, this is a gorgeous mauve purple color i love colors like these the next color i have is the shade diana which is a nice nudish pink perfect for dusky skin girls who don't like pink that much like me but I would love a pink like this and this is the shade Mona Lisa a true nude very very nice mauveish brownish nude so these are the three colors I have now where is the formula goes in these it's something that I it's like what dreams are made up of what lipstick dreams are made up of it's a bullet lipstick so I think every Indian girl every girl out there would love a bullet lipstick Secondly, I love the fact that it's so lightweight, like you don't feel like you're wearing lipstick, it's not going to transfer that much, it's minimal transfer, it lasts throughout the entire day, I wear it to college, I come back home at 4, 5 o'clock and it's still there on my lips very very much, looks so beautiful, so comfortable, I cannot begin to explain how much I love these lipsticks, it's a big hit from my side. The next ones I'm going to talk about are the Nykaa Paint Sticks. Now again, these fall in the Power Perfect category for me. Neither are they a complete hit, neither are they a complete miss. They are somewhere in between what you're looking for. I personally do like the Paint Sticks lipsticks. once because they come in a bullet formula. And they are not very matte. They are more on the comfortable matte finish. But they are not like the so matte lipsticks that like just go away. They last a good 4-5 to five hours on your lipstick. So if lips... So if you're like just going down, going out, going shopping, this is something very comfortable to just throw on, put in your purse, roll with it. And these ones are the only ones which go on discount on Nykaa, so you can pick it up. Again, they have a lot of shades. I have the shade number 20 and shade number 04. I'm sure they have names, but it's not on the bottle or on the tube as such. The shade number 4 is more of a rosy, pinky, nude color, more on the pink side. And uh, the shade 20 is a definite hot chocolate brown color which is one of my favorite nudes uh, so i have used the shade 20 a lot nude is something you can use on a daily basis so this is something i put a lot for college this one not so much not tried it that much till now uh, these are the two colors i have i like these lipsticks fairly like they go on discount if you're not looking to spend too much on lipsticks and get a good 
lipstick at that you should try the Nykaa Pain Stick lipsticks also you can use them as blush very easy like just take a little bit and like blend you can use any lipstick for blush like that but these are more blendable than the others the Nykaa Ultra Max you can never use as blushes because that will like never blend the last ones I have over here are the Nykaa Molten Mats. now these were a big ass disappointment I'm really sad to say that because I was really looking forward to this launch. I went out there, purchased it for myself, purchased two colors at that and they were pricey, okay? They were like 550, 600 for each and uh, they are just not up to the mark. I know they are made for girls which do not like too much makeup and I'm, I'm not one of those girls but still they are like not up to the mark even for tints. They are supposed to be tints uh, they said molten matte so it says lip and cheek color just the color this is the shade Rachel I have right here I will give you all a hand swatch since we are at it uh, if you don't shake it well before you apply you're not going to end up getting good color payoff on your lips and this is the shade Serena now the colors are beautiful the names are named after TV actresses and TV roles which is also a good concept but overall the formula is a big ass disappointment uh, when you put it on your lips it's not going to completely dry again the same matte to last cup problem the oil separates as you shelf it more and more it's beautiful as a cheek tint I love it way more as a cheek tint than I would ever love it as a lip tint I take a little bit all the time and just put it on my cheeks and roll with it but that I can do with so many other lipsticks why? and I can even do it with blush moreover so why would you buy these to just put it as a blush tint as a lip tint they are a very big disappointment i do not like these at all they are very expensive and i did a short review on my insta stories just lately and i realized somebody replied to it and said that they are not available on nika anymore and i did go online and check so nika does not retail these anymore that's very very strange because it was such a big big launch for them and they were all over the place like for every launch how they make a big PR kit and all of that so that was like circulating everywhere and somehow I don't see this on the website anymore so I don't know what's the tea behind that but uh, that's that that's how I'm ending my video that's the last lipstick in my collection I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you all took a lot of review on every single one of these products this was not in any way sponsored by Nykaa it's all my thoughts so that you know which one you want to buy now I like Nykaa lipsticks because one they are very easily accessible in their stores as well online as well as online they are not very expensive and they are an Indian makeup brand so they do a lot of uh, shade variety for Indian skin tones not in the case of foundation but definitely in the case of lipsticks also they are vegan cruelty free and all that good stuff so for that I like the brand I'm not gonna hate on the brand at all this is just my honest and very hardcore honest review on every one of their lipsticks I hope you guys enjoyed hit the like button if you did enjoy this video leave your comments below let me know how you feel about every one of these formulas let me know which other videos you all expect and want to see from me and I will see you next Sunday until then subscribe to my channel click on that bell so you're notified every time I upload a video and I will see you next time bye guys Mwah.